So I have a model of a perpetual calendar. The brain of the watch is this wheel right here. We call this the cam of 48. Because leap year is once every four years, and you'll have 48 months in that four year cycle. So all of the 48 months are represented on this wheel. And in fact, this, this cam or wheel makes one revolution every four years. We have three of the lowest points represent February 28th, second lowest, 29th of February, and all others, months with 30, 31 days. We have the great lever right here. The great lever has a finger on it. And the finger of the great lever rests upon the cam of 48. In fact, it's the cam of 48 that limits the travel of the great lever. Right now, it's on a month with 31 days, and the travel is quite small. I'm going to move it to a month with 28 days. Okay. The finger penetrates deeply into the cam, allowing for a large travel. And that's the key to how the watch changes date at the end of the month, is this travel. We have a click here on the great lever. This click engages this wheel that we call the star of 31. Because it's got 31 points for 31 days in a long month. So every night at midnight, the great lever will lift off the cam of 48. The click will engage the star of 31 and drive it forward by one day. So this happens every night at midnight. We have a pin here on the great lever. This pin drives this part that we call a shuttle. We have a click on the shuttle that rides on top of a snail cam. We call it that because it looks like a snail. So we change date every night at midnight. We are now February 27th. The click is still on top of the snail. Okay. February 28th. The click falls behind the snail because we have a deep penetration into the cam of 48. So the next time the great lever moves, it'll be this click that will push the snail, thus driving the star of 31 forward to the next month. When it happens, it's going to drive this wheel with a finger on it. This finger will engage this wheel and thus turn the cam of 48 to the next month of March. And I'll do it slowly. 30, 31. We start to penetrate. Now watch the cam of 48. We're now in the first of a month with 31 days, March. The cycle continues. I'll speed the process up. March 28th. 29, March 30th. Notice the click is still on top of the snail because we have a limited penetration into the camera 48. March 31st, the click falls behind the snail. Again, this finger starts to penetrate and the cycle will continue to the next month. And that's how a perpetual calendar works. Awesome. Thank you. You're welcome.